Alright, welcome back. Uh, so this is part two. Um, I'm gonna make the low poly and the baking and UVing and whatever. Uh, I just wanted to say something that I missed uh, in the, the last part uh, and that is when you export your high poly from ZBrush and you, you want this mask or well the, the, the poly paint which will act as a mask, uh, you need to have colorize active. Uh, this is actually something that I didn't really know and think about. So just save out your uh, OBJ uh, with it visible and if you look up in the left corner it's gonna say that it, it's writing uh, the colors in a second. Yeah, writing OBJ with polypaint. Okay, so once when it's done, uh, just switch to uh, Maya or Max or whatever you want. Um, and I find it's the easiest way to. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, I'm gonna import my my high poly. That's the first thing to do before I start to talk about all the other things. So just select your high poly that you just exported. Uh, Import. If your computer is slow, you should um, before you even import it, switch it to uh, viewport 2.0, because it it handles the high poly stuff much better. Uh, okay, uh, this is something that I I just noticed, and I don't really why know why why it is. Um, my base is actually. 8 units um, broad, but my high poly is, you can see here, slightly off, uh, which is very strange, but I just tried it and it still st it tiles if you, you make a 4x2 piece, um, so I really don't know what, what's up with that, if it's something with the, with the brushes in ZBrush, um, doesn't really matter because it works, so I'm not gonna think about too much about that. Uh, okay, so there's two way to two ways to to do this uh, low poly. Either way, uh, you're gonna end up with a good result. I can show you just quickly. Um, since my my base mesh uh, was eight by two by one, so it's it's one. Uh, in height and uh, two in depth uh, and eight in in uh, broad length maybe it is uh, I guess it's it's length. Um, I had th those units so that ZBrush would uh, make it tile, or that that's how it works with the uh, with wrap mode too. Uh, so since I had those uh, numbers, I can just punch in uh, oops that's not the right one 4 in width here so if I were to bake this right now it would actually tile uh, yeah well I need to, to uh, I don't know yeah I, I need to make it better um, otherwise you just import your base mesh uh, which should be I mean the exact right uh, measurements but since I already done this uh, I'll, I'll just keep it the low poly I mean it's the most simple low poly I can create uh, it's just a box pretty much but I'll make it super quick um I'm just trying to uh, match up the the edges at the very like the very end of this so I get those cracks right at the the edge on my low poly uh, later when I'm building the, the blocks and I'm going to put one uh one ring in the middle 
like that. Something like that. Uh, and yeah, the low poly is done. Alright, so I'm gonna open up uh, my UV editor and this is kind of... Uh, I guess this is the, tr the tricky part in, in, a, in a way. Because um, I'm using uh, this uh, plugin called Ninja UV which is a uh, very great too, super great too, but it's I think it's 10 euros, 20 euros maybe, something like that. Um, so uh, I mean it, it's it's super good so it's really worth those money. Um, you could do this without it of course. Uh, so I, I'll just do a, a quick UV uh, to start off with. Uh, something like this. I'll just do a layout. Okay, so I want this to to tile, right? So I want it to be. Uh, sorry, I just let me fix one thing on my logo because I realized you don't need all all this edge. Let's try to squeeze it in. Something like this. Okay, so the idea here is that uh, I want to put the the edges of this to the very end, like this. But right now it's it's stretched uh, in. Is it V? This direction, like the the C direction or the <laughs> the Y, I don't know what it is the upwards. So it's stretched. Um, this is something that's pretty easy to fix if you have the plugin. Uh, it's just quick quick fix V. Oh, and you should select the whole shell. Uh, so this is uh, something that's, I mean, this is just a super small part of this plugin, but uh, it, it unfolds your UV uh, shell only in the V um, axis. So this is really helpful if you have something uh, like a pipe uh, and you know that if you were to, to use the, uh, what do you call it, the smooth UV tool, yeah, or the unfold, it's just gonna crumble up and, and look horrible. But if you have the the plugin and and use uh, Quick Fix V, it it it's gonna it's gonna uh, unfold only in in either direction. So it's really helpful to have. Like it, it's such a small thing, but it really helps uh, a lot of times. Uh, okay, so. I actually think that I will, f yeah, I will fit this this into uh, uh, my upper part uh, of my UV. Uh, so if you see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but this is actually just half of my uh, my area. Uh, so I'll I'll just fit it right in here. Uh, oh. So that's right in the middle. Uh, well, actually, it's better to have it right there. Okay. So uh, either you you keep it like this. I mean, this is totally up to you. But either way, uh, you can keep it like this uh, and put something else down here. Like uh, I don't know if you want two kinds of damage or something. Uh, I guess this is great to have. Uh, or you can just leave it in the middle uh, and scale it in U. It's U. So okay. So this is something like if I do this, my my um, UV will will get all stretched. But this is something 
that you fix in uh, uh, in Photoshop, or I mean, in the Baker and Photoshop and everything later on. So the the texture is uh, actually going to be 256 by 512 or something like that, or 512 by 1024. Um, it's just a matter of, I mean, you, you just need to fit in squeeze as, as much as possible out of the texture uh, and this is the best fitting to do it um, so I, I can show you that I'm just gonna apply a Lambert with a shaker Oops. so as you can see um, the shaker is what do you call it? Yeah, they're squeezed like uh, It's one by two, uh, and if you unfold it, it's gonna be back to its regular square size. Just to show you that it's something you need to uh, keep in mind later on. Switching back to my Lambert one. Uh, okay, so just let me reset that. Um, so we're pretty much ready to bake. Um, bake this out. So I'll, I mean, yeah. It's just a matter of um, exporting this right now. Just put it in my. Um, yeah. Okay, so X normals up next. Okay, so here are we in um, X normals. Uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, I use um, a uh, what do you call it? Tan tangent plugin for uh, X normal that Crytek actually did themselves. So uh, it looks like this in your settings: CryEngine tangent based basis. There are some drawbacks with this uh, since this plugin is only updated for uh, version 3.7.3.31709. And <laughs> uh, it's old, quite old. So what I do when I bake, um, when I bake for CryEngine, I, I I use this. So I have two versions of Xnormals uh, installed at the same time. Uh, there's not really, I guess it's some some uh, differences in in how quick it bakes, but I think it's really like uh, I never bake stuff uh, above three four million so uh, polys, so it's not really a problem. Uh, I'll show you. And this is also a li link that I'll I'll post if it would be interesting for you guys. Uh, it's on the the free SDK uh, the wiki page. Uh, it's called CryTB. Uh, if you look at uh, the article about normal map, normal map baking with XNormal, uh, they mention the Cry CryTB uh, DLL, but they don't tell you where it is. So you actually just need to to search for it on the wiki page, and you'll find it. Um, and then just I don't know, put it in, yeah, the folder that tells you to put it in. Okay, so I'll just, I mean, I do nothing really fancy uh, with this, but there's some points uh, that's important for what we do right now. I'll just um, apply my uh, high poly, and this is the important thing. Uh, you you need to uncheck ignore per vertex color because you have vertex colors. Uh, so we'll bake them later on. Uh, and I haven't re-exported my high poly from Maya, so I'm gonna push uh, average uh, normals. If you have exported your nor uh, your high poly mesh and you did smooth it, uh, smooth the normals. You don't need to do this because it takes 